Alright, so as of today, April 18th, 2021, not a single person other than me has watched any of this series, but I'm gonna keep making it anyway. Fuck you. So here we got uh, Bleed Man. It looks kind of Power Rangers-esque with the, with the shape and color of his head. Wasn't there a Power Rangers villain that had a head that looked like, a, like the end of a tube of lipstick? Similar to that character that was on screen moments ago. I don't know what I'm asking you for, you don't know. So anywho, uh, yeah, Blade Man. So blades are the theme, and yet we're in a castle. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see the correlation there, I guess. Blades and castles are both medieval constructs. Somewhat. I'm sure some smart ass in the comments is gonna correct me. Actually, blades have been around since such and such year BC. Yeah, fuck off. Anyway, so uh, this background looks rather uh, Shovel Knight-esque, doesn't it? I guess there are really only so many ways to draw medieval settings in an 8-bit art style. I never was uh, a big into Shovel Knight. I don't know, I feel like all, all, the, all the normies kind of culturally appropriated it before I could get into it. And, uh, anyway, what else was I going to say? So let's talk about the development process for Mega Man's 9 and 10. You're probably wondering, uh, how did they make a game in this art style using tools from the early 2000s? And uh, that, that's a perfect question to start this off with because you, you couldn't quite just make simple sprite-based games like this on, on an Xbox 360. So what they had to do was they had to make a regular type of game and then make clever changes to the art style to make it pay, to, to make it appear like a like an eight bit type. <coughs> <coughs> they essentially had to reverse engineer it to get it to look like this. Is the the point of what I'm trying to say? It must have been pretty tricky to do. I would imagine and probably had to make all the sprites twice. And for what? Just to appeal to to people who played the games in the 1980s. To appeal to a bunch of 40 year olds in 2008 and also 2010. Those were the years when Mega Man's 9 and 10 came out. Anyway, I don't know if that was really the largest demographic. <coughs> Fuck me, I'm just coughing up a storm over here. Gosh, you guys must just think I'm on coke or something with all this, this rapid, rapidly coming at you dialogue and the constant coughing. It. It's a bit of a departure from my normal tone. I've got much more energy for whatever reason today. And you need it if you want to be a, an entertaining Let's Player. Okay, we get ourselves a mini boss. And this is just completely above and beyond my skill level. There is not one, but two things to dodge for. Uh, three, actually, and the direction of those cannons changes based on where you were standing. Shame on you for putting such a hard mini boss in this game, Capcom. Shame on you. Maybe one of these days I could start some kind of flash mob. Are those still a thing? And and we can go to Capcom's headquarters in Japan and and chant "Shame on you" at their building for a, for a decision that was made in a game that came out ten years ago, eleven years ago now. Jeez. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do someday. But yeah, getting back to that, are flash mobs still a thing? I, I don't, uh, I don't think they're. The times change so darn fast. I don't know how in, how the hell anybody's supposed to keep up with this. So, um, what else is going on out there? Let's see. Um, so speaking of Mega Man games, um. You heard that story about how Mega Man Legends 3 was cancelled, and uh, well, it's still cancelled as of the day of recording, and it's become even cancelled er because there was that Capcom leak a few months ago where all of the games that Capcom planned to release in the next five years were leaked, and Mega Man Legends 3 was nowhere to be found. So, no Mega Man Legends 3, but. Probably would have sucked anyway. I mean, it was going to be on the 3DS, and everything on the 3DS sucked. I had one back in the day, and I hated it. I had like that that crappy freeware Pokemon game where you just you just walk forward, and that you don't even have to press an attack button. 
therefore, <clears throat> just therefore, some guy on Reddit tried to convince me once that the 3DS was actually good and that the, the crux of his argument was that the games aren't supposed to be fun and I feel like people on the internet just get in such a bubble that they don't realize how ridiculous some of the things they say are. Uh, some people. Thankfully, I'm not really in that, that bubble anymore. Like I mentioned in my uh, Dead or Alive 3 episode, I, I've since deleted my Reddit account forever. I should pr I feel the need to bring that up again in this episode since nobody saw that other episode where I brought it up originally. Yes, indeed. Okay, so this this is just straight up impossible. So you, you gotta get on the second platform, but you gotta do it fast enough so that you don't get hit by the spikes on the side. And then you have to turn around in mid-air and fire at least one bullet, but it also has to be at the right height. If you can do all that correctly, you'll do one damage on one of the two enemies on screen. And also look out for the cannons in their changing directions. This is ludicrous. But thankfully we got the magic power of save states. But it, it just took us back to the start of the level, so I guess it doesn't quite work like it's supposed to. Let's try it again and see if anything changes. Nope. <clears throat> and also we didn't spawn with all of our health for some asinine reason. Why couldn't they just put regular ass save states in here? Nobody would have complained. In fact, people would have appreciated it because today's gamers are a bunch of pussy little bitches and they'd appreciate having the extra advantage for this oh so difficult game. This game's too hard. Game shouldn't be hard. I'm owed a victory because I purchased this game. My mom says I'm a special little boy, so that means nothing bad can ever happen to me ever. I could never be challenged in any way whatsoever, or else you're gonna hear about it. Uh, people in general suck. Uh, dear oh dear, we're doing even worse on this run than we were on the previous. <clears throat> We're not even close to that mini boss, and I've already lost most of my health. It's almost as if I'm going out of my way to get hit by every single enemy we've seen thus far. Just pitiful. So, um, what else is going on out there? Did you ever see that thing where uh, the lead singer of Smash Mouth was, was forced to eat like a, a, a dozen eggs at a live event? That happened like 11 years ago, I don't know why I'm talking about it as if it just happened. Just trying to fill time. Perhaps this episode shouldn't be 10 minutes long if I'm that desperate to, to fill time. Here we go. Pump man. I'm sure... <laughs> I like the way that they animated him pushing on his little, his little back of his head pump. Anyway, um... I'm sure a lesser Let's Player out there would see the name Pump Man and make a very a crude joke about that name. And yeah, that's me when I'm. <laughs> I'll just make the general cadence of the joke, and you can fill in the details. God, this level is ugly as sin. I thought since the boss was a nice shade of blue, that the the level would also be blue, like an underwater level of sorts, but. Just got a bunch of nasty brown sewer shit. Look at this. This is the most visually unappealing level in the game. More so than that baseball themed level that we saw in episode one. Yeah, these enemies are just begging for it. That guy just sits there and just waiting for you to shoot him. Destroy me with a shotgun! Blow my ass away from this earth! Yeah, that, that's a low-quality Let's Player joke. Are all the enemies in the 2D platformer actually suicidal and that's why they don't fight back well? God, that's awful. That's the type of shit MatPat would say. But somehow he'd find a way to take that terrible joke and make it even worse by saying it like a douchebag. Hello, Internet. I just got back from writing my doctor's thesis, and I want to ask you, the loyal Internet gaming community, are the enemies in Mega Man 10 actually suicidal? 
Frack you, mate, Pate. Nobody likes you. Uh, so, usually these enemies, the Matars, as they were, they're supposed to open up when you get close to them, but they, they don't quite seem to adhere to that in this one. I think they're on a timer, which is an interesting design choice, if I do say so myself. So, um, the other day I saw a rather creepy YouTube video. It was just a, a clip from a, a PSA that came out 20 years ago about the, the Pokemon toys at Burger King, and uh, apparently there was an incident back in the day when it, the kid choked on the, the Pokeball, and so they, they made this really scary-looking PSA where it was just like a, a picture of the Pokeball in a dark room as, as a disembodied voice plainly explains to you that if you own one of these things, you need to return it to the, to the Burger King as soon as you can. It's all very creepy and... The comments just made it worse, they're all, Imagine seeing this on television at 3 in the morning! Or someone else was saying that, that they cut off part of the video and there's supposed to be a loud beep at the start of it for whatever reason. It, maybe that was just an issue with the video equipment of the people who made the camera, or made the commercial, excuse me. I don't know if the loud beep was intentional, but yeah, that's just kind of creepy. And anyway, there was that guy who made that video recently with the weird lemons. You know, the ones with that, <clears throat> it's like the, the Omega Mart, and that was supposed to be based on that, that very same commercial for the Pokeball recalls, saying if you, if you bought lemons from Omega Mart, return them immediately, and they copied the lighting and all that, and God, I feel like there's just this whole unexplored level of creepiness with, with old videotapes, and I guess they, they call it analog horror or something like that, and there's a video out there called uh, What is Analog Horror? I, I saw a part of it, but I haven't finished it. I really need to, though. I think that would really be something that that would interest me. Well, anyway, we, we just totally sucked at Mega Man 3, Mega Man 10. I, I was thinking of the number of episodes, which was three, but anyway, I don't think we'll do any more than this. We're, we're clearly not getting anywhere, so we, we'll do something else. In the next couple of days, is my mic on? Oh, God. Okay, yeah, mic's on.